Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be adding a computer to Fear Massive 2.0. So of course, this is the first devlog on the game, so if you want to see more, make sure to hit the like button. But anyway, let's get right into this. So to start off up here, we're going to need a computer because as you can see, it's quite empty and dark. And as you can see, I've modelled a pretty nice computer here in Blender, so let's import it into game. So here it is, I've quickly given it all its textures and labelled the keys. But as you can see, on the actual keys, there is no scripts to give the player their name. So let's make some scripts. So this is the script what I've come up with, and I'm going to quickly import it and hope that it works. One thing what I forgot was to add a semicolon here, which broke the whole script. But that's fine because now it works. Luckily the rest of them I've already coded so we don't have to worry about it. So let's quickly add them. Selecting from Q to M, the normal keyboard layout, I'm going to drag the add letter on. And on keyboard I've dragged on the name script, which as you can see is here. Which pretty much updates the player's name with the Photon servers. So again, selecting all of these, we're going to click this and we're going to click keyboard. Hand tag is just hand tag. And it's called hand tag because over here under the player on the left hand and right hand controller this is called hand tag now of course the final thing is to add the keyboard letter so there's one final thing to do with the keys and that's add the delete script on the backspace we're going to select the keyboard and we're going to set the hand tag as hand tag again actually instead i'm going to set the tag as something else and that's going to be keyboard i'll explain why in a minute now if you're asking me where is their name actually going to go that is a pretty good question. I think that's a little bit too big. Now I've lined up the text, I'm going to change the font. This is a bit big, so let me scale it down. Something else what I want to quickly add above it is a title for the computer. And as you can see, it's now right in the player's name. And obviously this monkey wants to be called XVZVZA. And let's check that the delete button works. And yes, it does. And I've quickly just tidied the UI by adding the name thing here. So when you're in game, you can actually see what this word or whatever it is here. So now we know that the name thing actually works. Let's add in a color keyboard. I've quickly just made this little bit which goes red, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, the colors are going to go up to six because, you know, the blue color might go past these numbers. And what we're going to have to do is go like that, duplicate it and create the green and blue and just like that we have all three colors now we've actually got the color things here let's actually make them work by adding these scripts starting off with blue i'm going to select one to six and i'm going to drag the blue color onto it now where it says color manager i'm going to select the color manager just to make it clear i made an empty game object called color manager and dragged color manager onto it so everyone at least has a little bit of gray in them i'm not going to set the blue value to zero so we're going to keep it as one. For number two, we're going to set it to 2.5. For number three, we're going to set it to four. Four, we're going to set it to 5.5. Five, we're going to set it to seven. And finally, six, we're going to set it to 8.5. Now I'm going to repeat that for all the other colors. Now that I've done that, let's quickly check it works. The color code what I'm going to go for is five, four, three. And as you can see, I think it works quite well. But the only problem I'm currently thinking of is you can't actually see what colour you're changing to on the screen. To add the colour thing, what we're going to do is duplicate name, move it down a little bit. I think there's probably good. Change it to colour and don't forget to rename it over here. Duplicate it again, slide it across and set this to, let's say, five. By the way, whatever number's here is just a placeholder. So what I might do is set it to like five, five, five. Duplicate it, slide it across to maybe there, and finally slide it across one more time. Now to actually connect it to the player's colour, we're going to go back to the colour manager what I made, and put the text into these numbers. Instead, we're going to approach the text in a different way, because it actually shows like red colon then the colour, green colon then the colour, blue colon then the colour. So I'm going to change the layout, you'll see in a second. And now going into playtesting mode, you can clearly see that it does actually work. Quickly testing it, three, three, three. And this here is the brightest colour what you can reach in game. And this here is the colour code which probably fits me best. So you might want to note it down because if you see me in game, you know it's me. 
So far we made option one, option two, but what about option three? Well, that's gonna be the private server button, so let's make it. The first thing what I'm gonna do to make this, I'm gonna duplicate the normal keyboard, so then you can use it as a code keyboard instead. Now that I've got a duplicated version, the next thing what I'm going to need to do is add a disconnect button because otherwise there's no way of actually leaving the lobby. And just like that, we now have one. As you can see here at the bottom, I have one, two, three, four, five, six scripts which are going to help me make this private code system. None of these letters actually have a letter script on them to allow you to add a letter, so we're going to grab this script and drag it in. After that, we're going to select the keyboard again because that's the thing which is dealing with the room joining thing. I'm not really sure the best way to put it. Also, we're going to set the hand tag to keyboard and the letter I'll individually go through and do. Now on the enter key, I'm going to add in the join room script. And of course, we're going to change the room script here to keyboard. We also need to set hand tag to keyboard. Next up for the disconnect script so you can leave the room, what we're going to do is we're going to drag the leave room script on. And we're not going to really have to do anything here because all it is is connecting with the photon server to say, hey, leave room. So we don't need to enter in any variables. For the delete key, we're going to drag on the backspace and set this to keyboard and hand tag we're going to set to keyboard the final thing what we're going to have to do is add in some ui so you can see the room you're in and the room you're joining which perfectly we do have enough space for now we got the ui in but in the room you're going to connect to it says sub 01 if you could i'd greatly appreciate you hitting that subscribe button below this video because it helps me out so 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 much but apart from that straight back to the video make sure to join the discord because i'll be posting all six of these scripts in there so you can also make your own private ring code but anyway let's test it so here's mr monkey and of course don't worry about these things i will disable them but because we're testing them currently we're going to keep them so this is what the player will see in game and that looks pretty nice so let's try code also if you're wondering why there's already a random code here that's because photon vr will automatically load you into a lobby but i'll probably fix that as a code to test, we're going to try screen. Now we've got code screen, let's click enter and hope it works. 3, 2, 1. I actually forgot you do have to disconnect from the room before, so let's test it now. Also, don't comment why there isn't a player model. That's because I don't have an offline rig, and if you want me to make a tutorial, I can. Enter. And as you can see, the player's loaded straight in. If you made it to the end of the video, then you get this quick sneak peek, but also something else really important. The vote for who wins the map contest is only finishing in a couple of days for the level 2 map. Make sure to go join the Discord, and apart from that, have a brilliant rest of your day, and goodbye.